depression. It's a mood, it's a state of mind, sometimes it's a sickness. Mankind has lived with it since the beginning of recorded history. Nearly 10 million adults said they had serious thoughts about trying to take their own lives. We now have chemical and other treatments to cure them, and we have ways to help prevent their recurrence. There's so many variables as to what causes depression, but such a giant number. Helplessness, being lost, being stuck, a feeling of, of being worthless. Those are feelings that can be present and that can, can take someone over the edge. Leading an estimated 29 million Americans to take antidepressants for relief. And for those who don't respond to those medications, there's a promising yet controversial drug therapy. Now an old drug is being used in a new way to help people in the desperate grip of depression. And the results have been astounding researchers. This seems dangerous. Special Our, K. Special K is a nickname for ketamine. Ketamine could be a breakthrough. Now, it's been around for decades, used in anesthesia and illegally as a party drug. It's now being used by some doctors who have patients in a serious suicidal state. Because I was in my journey, I was looking for alternative methods uh, to healing. About five years ago, when it really all the bad started happening, that's when I started really looking into ketamine. But it wasn't until I met Charles that I actually went through with it. Charles Patty is the brand ambassador for My Self Wellness. He's found healing in these medicines himself, then started helping others. I tell people, ketamine is kind of like a control alt delete for the old program. Okay, the program that no longer serves us. And then what it does is it gives you an opportunity to put a new program into place. Ketamine is really a reset. We recalibrate what's going on in the body, and it's almost like a uh, snow globe that you shake up, and that's what happens during a ketamine session, and you kind of reorganize your brain. A lot of us are living with this disorganized brain, and it has to do with chronic stress. I've seen people who've carried traumas for 40, 50 years lose it in two or three sessions. People who had much therapy who can say things like, I don't know how I've carried it so long. It had become part of me. I didn't realize I could be free of it. You have childhood drama as a kid. We all do. We carry that forever, and it could be a crutch against us. We can't break the patterns, and we can't use resilience or discipline to win out. If anything, we try it, we fail, we get worse. So how do you break the pattern? How do you shift? You gotta disassociate. You gotta create new neural passageways. That's new ways of thinking that gets rid of the old roadmaps in your mind to excel. I look at ketamine now as after I've used it properly and been administered by the correct facility, as just amazing to allow my subconscious and everything repair itself. To finally get to the bottom, the final layer of that onion to pull it off. And I don't think without it, I would never got there. What is the wind that blows in the tree? What is the